So he just dropped the generator right on top of you. How did he know it wouldn't kill you? He saw me stop the bus last night. Maybe we should call the police. He is the police. I saw his badge. Metropolis PD. Dad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Clark, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? He told me to meet him at the beanery tomorrow. I don't want you going anywhere near this guy. I'll talk to him and I'll find out what he wants. Until then... Until then, you live your life, you see your friends. Now, we're not gonna let this thing change us. What do you want with my son? We're both rational adults. Let's sit down. Let's I don't think a rational adult drops a generator on top of a teenage boy, do you? Well, we both know it wouldn't hurt him. <laughs> now, Clark has a gift, and I would like to use his talents to further my cause. I will not let you exploit my son. I've uh, spent the morning going through the local police files. Clark's name comes up quite a bit. Clark has never been in trouble a day in his life, Phelan. No arrests. But he's been around a lot of crime scenes. Now, maybe that's coincidence. Or maybe it's just his natural instinct to get involved. OK, I will give you whatever you want. You just stay away from my family. Want your son? No. I'll be in touch. Of course, if you don't agree, I will tell the world what I know. Best case, Clark's under a microscope. Worst case, he's a freak in a jar. Either way, his normal life is over. Push me. Whoa, easy there, Mr. Kent. <laughs> you know, if I were you, I'd learn to keep that temper in check. That could get you in a lot of trouble. You want to explain to me what a dead body's doing in your barn, Jonathan? I have no idea. I've never seen that man before. Ethan, we found this hidden under the seat in the truck. That is not my gun, and I have no idea how it got in my truck. I'm sorry, Jonathan, but we're going to have to place you under arrest. Dad. It's, it's all right. Um, call Bill Ross and have him meet me at the jail. You're not taking him! Clark. Clark. I need you to stay here. Back. And I need you to be strong. came back after you were arrested. And I got so angry that I grabbed him. And for a second, I wanted to... I wanted to kill him. But you didn't, right? Yeah, but I was close. Believe me, son, I know all there is to know about losing your temper. But you can't afford to do it. This is Phelan's game. And he will play your fear and your anger, but you cannot let him get to you. I don't care. I won't let anybody hurt you and Mom. And he knows that. But once you've crossed that line, there's no going back. <laughs> 